Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about the Epson EcoTank ET-8550 and uh, show you some of the features and how you can use it for sublimation. Uh, you fill it uh, with sublimation ink instead of regular ink and uh, just like any other EcoTank, set it up the same way and go. So it's that easy. Stay tuned. doing a remote video today uh, from Office Depot uh, here in my city and uh, came across the EcoTank ET8550 brand new photo printer just came out uh, pretty sleek looking unit interesting uh, so I'll go over some of the, what I feel so far are the pros I just literally laid my hands on this um, so I'm just figuring out myself on how what opens where and what what it has so um, Bear with me. This is not going to be a highly edited video and just give you a glimpse of kind of how this thing uh, Works and functions. This is a dead dummy unit. They told me so there's no power to it So I can't power it on but uh, at least we can open drawers and doors and things like that. So um, I guess we'll start here. So first there's a um, screen right here to screen for the printer um, so it flips up and out so the easy to look at nice large screen um, hand, with my hand so that's nice um, also has the front opening here this is actually uh, the cassette for eight and a half uh, wide paper up to eight and a half wide I believe uh, so that just pops in and out. And then there's actually an exit. I'm assuming this is an exit door. And I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pull this out while it's unpowered or not. Can't really tell. Um, I'm not sure what all these things are doing. They might be doing nothing. So, um, But basically it's just a, a cassette or um, an exit tray. So that when the paper comes out, uh, I guess it has somewhere to reside versus falling on the floor. So kind of flimsy actually, I noticed on this printer. All this plastic stuff. Mm, not real strong so you wouldn't want to crash into it so it just telescopes uh, shorter for the shorter paper and pull it out for longer paper I suppose and I'm assuming that's what it's for so don't quote me so push that back in and you get your cassette here it does not hold a lot of paper capacity I'm not even sure I mean, maybe it's 50 sheets or something maybe a little more maybe a hundred so depending on the the weight of the paper so and then here in the front uh, there's a USB um, for putting a uh, flash drive in I'm assuming dumping photos because this is a photo printer and it's got an SD card slot too so if you wanted to print photos or designs um, you could pop in an SD card or a flash drive right in the front so and then like I said you can close this up put your paper away um, so then over here on top there is a scanner uh, lid I don't use a scanner and for what we do for sublimation, but some people might, so that's available. And then when you go back over here to the screen, you can lift the screen up and I'm not sure if I'm lifting this right. Maybe it's over here on the side. So this lifts up and will lock in place. So that exposes the guts of the inside of the printer. So this is where your head and everything would be. Uh, all the rollers inside parts and pieces gears so a lot of you've seen this uh, when you have issues you're in here looking and seeing what's going on with jams and things so hopefully you don't have to do that too much but uh, over here is the ink fill lid this flips open so then you have your six colors get okay, your black your photo black cyan uh, yellow magenta and your gray and then like any other eco tank they have individual doors you can open put your uh, eco tank style bottles on to fill and move on to the next one um, so very simple and straightforward many of you used to it. now uh, kind of a cool new feature that I'm seeing on this printer I'm not sure if it's on any others but the maintenance tank or maintenance box is right here uh, you don't have to unscrew a back corner or anything you can flip this little door open and this literally just pops this way and there's your ink maintenance box take it out discard put a new one in push it lock it in place close the door done so that's pretty cool 
uh, probably the coolest feature of this whole printer I've seen so far. So everything else I'm not quite sure about. Uh, it seems a little bit uh, lightweight and plasticky. I mean, everything's plastic, but it just seems flimsy to a degree. Um, and then we'll go to the back here. So that closes down. We'll turn this bad boy around. Office Depot has been really cool. Let me do a uh, video back here in the office furniture area. So I'm not in aisle. Um, and then of course for connections, you have your normal USB and then you have your network LAN. Uh, this is just a plug in there to plug the hole that comes right out. So uh, then over here, you got your power. And then back here on the back, this is where you will hold your larger sheets of paper. This, uh, this here flips back. And I'm not doing a great job on this video, but I'm trying to hold the camera. So that flips back, opens up, and then this pulls up and extends and flips out just like that. And then you have your guides, paper guides on the side, like you do on your any of your other eco tanks back here uh, for the larger uh, sheets, 11 inches wide, 13 inches wide. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Um, you can run longer than a 19 inch sheet on this printer. Um, I think it's somewhere in the 76 or 79 inch range on length on this one versus the ET15000, which is 47.2 uh, inches long. Uh, you can cut that paper from a roll and uh, use it as a sheet. So, but uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. It collapses and closes and goes back down in. Close it when you're not using it. Uh, keep the dirt and dust out of it. And that's the basics of all I'm seeing here. Um, you got your uh, tank level windows here, just like you would on any of the other eco tanks. So that is the Epson 8550. Sorry, I can't power it on and show you the screen, but we've got a dummy model at Office Depot and this particular store does not have any in stock, which there is no surprise, but I'm sure that you can find them somewhere. So. Anyway, this one here shows that it's uh, got an actual two-year warranty. I believe most other eco tanks are one year. I could be wrong. I can't remember. I don't care about it. So um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments below. Take care.